today is the memorial of St. Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. In a special way, in a particular way, we pray for the eternal repose of uh, Peter and uh, Melania Dole, that God may grant them eternal rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. I confess to you, Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great hope in you. In my thoughts and in my word, in what I have done. Through my thoughts, through my thoughts. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brother and sister, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Have mercy. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O Lord, that the spirit with which you endowed your Bishop St. Augustine, that filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the sole fount of, of the true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians and God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel does not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. You know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. In every place, your faith in God has gone forth so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Our responsorial psalm, the Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord, the Lord takes, takes delight, delight in his people. 
Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord, the Lord takes, takes the delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord, the takes, Lord the takes delight in his people. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow, allow entrance to those trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypoc you hypocrites. You traverse sea and land to make one convert. And when that happens, you make him a child of Ge Gehenna twice as much as yourselves. Woe to you, bl blind guides, who say, if one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obligated. Blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And you say, if one swears by the altar, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift of the altar, one is obligated. You blind ones, which one is greater? The gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? One who swears by the altar swears by it, and all that is upon it. One who swears by the temple, swears by it, and by him who dwells in it. One who swears by the hev by heavens, swears by the throne of God, and by him who seated on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, dear friends, we are here to begin a new week. We ask for God's guidance and the power throughout this week that we may finish it well. And as we end this week, we shall begin a new week. So in our faith, we never finish. We end to begin. It is a continuous journey that we undertake. Today or yesterday, Mother Church, though it was a Sunday, 
uh, uh, gave us a special woman, the mother of Monica, the mother of Saint Augustine. She's a woman, or oh, she was a she was a woman persistent in prayer. But her prayer never, never left her the same because it ended up bearing fruits that are lasting in the life of the church. Her son, Augustine, had chosen a life wild, but the mother remained in prayer. Let alone the son converted. Never give up as far as prayer is concerned. After making him, putting himself in order by the grace of God, he went to be baptized in Milano, Europe, by Saint Ambrose, by then Bishop Ambrose. He went and preached the gospel as a bishop, and he was, he was such a great preacher, and uh, he gave so many teachings that until now guide the church in the proper way. One of his main teachings is based on knowledge should seek understanding of faith. Knowledge without faith is empty. So whatever knowledge that we get in this world must be intended to praise God. The Lord takes delight in his people is the psalm that we have got this morning. People who do his will. Paul, in the first letter, to the Thessalonians, he's encouraging them as he thanks them for the good works performed for the good of the church and the kingdom of heaven. In the gospel, Jesus is trying to make it clear that hypocrisy, hypocrisy is not good. We should open ourselves that God's will be done in our life. Prayer and good works are the best as far as our faith is concerned. You may get, you may feel, you may end up, you might end up feeling that sometimes you are empty. Even if you come to the to mass, you go back, you just come. Don't mind, come and sit in the church, God is in control. Don't be surprised that sometimes you can go out without understanding anything. Readings, you don't remember anything. But you've been in the right place. Keep going, don't give up. May the Holy Eucharist that we are going to share strengthen us as we seek understanding faith in God. The Lord be with you. God, our Father, thank you for this morning. For the new week that we are starting this morning, we put ourselves into your hands that you may bless us to understand that the little knowledge that we have should be seeking to enter into your mysteries by faith. We ask you this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Augustine, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving his thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. And profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have availed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called here to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, your mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and the honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the words that our Savior taught us, as we say, our Father, As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, so do you pray, from every evil, and grace us grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and grace us, grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
may partaking of Christ's table sanctify us, we pray, O Lord, that being made members of his body, we may become what we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The month is ended. Go in peace.